I'm gonna have that asshole arrested. So then he says... You're really holding out on me? I'm a man on the edge. I got nothing to lose. Uh-huh. I'll do anything to get the job done. I'll go all the way without a second thought. Uh-huh. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from... Commander Shepard? Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel? I wanted to become a Spectre? Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face? You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Conrad. Let me make this perfectly clear. This is not acceptable. Oh, my foot! You shot my foot! <laughs> that shot barely grazed you, you big baby. Sorry, my father was a Krogan. It still scared me. I knew it the badass mercenary thing. People don't usually shoot me. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You were a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. How'd you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. So you just wander the galaxy righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Carosa family. The son of Dantius didn't give us time to pack. Ilium is the gateway to the Traverse. But is that gate open too wide? Investment think tanks are now concerns that new technology... Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. From survey 
That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some just a car, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. Oh, blue rose of Ilium, let your roots dig deep into the hump. What do you want? Sorry, sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. The Krogan's reading those love poems to get your attention? His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. So why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been Asari. Non-Asari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy, really smart, especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. In the glorious struggle, that is us. Look at him, he's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? I, he said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough? Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. Pay attention, lady. Unlike Conrad, I actually know how to use a gun. Wait, 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 wait! This whole place is under video surveillance! You can't shoot me! I don't give a Vorch's ass about your security cameras. Conrad Werner is an idiot, but he doesn't deserve to be manipulated like that. You're gonna make it up to him. Okay, I'll go tell him the truth! No. You're gonna tell Conrad that he did a great job, and then you're gonna leave. That's all. Are we clear? Yes, we're clear! Look, I I'm even putting you in for a discount at the kiosk, okay? I'll do that. Talk to Werner, and I'm gone. I swear! For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a of what about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. She doesn't need a fish, Dad. Maybe a shirt. Or a card. Helium. 
Hey, you're blue shifting already. That's funny, right? Sorry, skin color and the Doppler effect? Dad, just get her anything. Or don't. I need to get her something. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use them, right? You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Everything's dangerous, and everything's for sale. Either we tax and monitor it to keep some control, or the smugglers get a monopoly. I don't know, that still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the I'm on a call. Welcome to Barrier Frontiers. Our sales kiosk is over there. Shepard, this is Liara. I've got the data. Come see me when you've got a moment. Welcome to Barrier Frontiers. Our sales kiosk is over there. Sometimes you say these things and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. There's a recall now. You're pulling that All out. users of Coro's brand medical radiation systems are asked to discontinue treatment immediately. Please return your system to an authorized dealer for a refund or for credit toward the exciting new Coro's brand radiation personal defense weapon. Customer safety is important, and Coro's remains committed to providing radiation based solutions on the market. Coro. Belkos Combine. to the fish dog food. Tasty fare and skewers are just five credits for a limited... Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Wait a minute. Are you working for the Shadow Broker? No. Actually, I'm planning to kill him. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. You spent two years of your life hunting the Shadow Broker? Lyra, that's insane. You don't know what he did. You couldn't. You were gone. And we all did what we had to do after that. Let's not argue. I don't have enough friends left to lose one. Did you need help finding anything? I know you're looking for the Shadow Broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and... It's about Farron. He's still alive. Who's... He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. Farron sacrificed himself to save me. So, you rescued me. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? Well, they gave me intel to help recover you. They actually put Farron with me in the first place. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. You kept me out of the Collector's hands. Without you, I couldn't have come back. Thank you. You don't know what that means to me, Shepard. I didn't know who you'd be when you came back. 
If you'd feel. They brought you back. And now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. Sounds like you and Farron were close. It's funny. He betrayed me more than once. He was double dealing for Cerberus, for the Shadow Broker. But in the end, he sacrificed himself for me. I owe him. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. The weapons merchant said that we took care of the red sand dealers. I guess I really helped. This was a dangerous operation, Conrad. You could have been killed. I'd feel terrible if anything happened to you. I didn't know. I... I can't risk you being worried about my safety. I'll stop pretending to be something I'm not. But thanks for letting me help, at least for a little while. It's really good to have you back. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athita, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. If your mother fought in the Rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me? I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen at a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pureblood daughter. I was the father didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. 
Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? Just looking around. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps.